Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at a Gold 5 Baptiste. This was posted on the Overwatch University subreddit. They wrote, reason why I'm posting this at all is to learn where to improve exactly besides just playing more. Had two to three times in a row now in the same skill division, Gold 5. I would expect to at least to climb a little more, but it seems I'm lacking somewhere. Or is there a time gate to stop Smurfs? This is my tinfoil hat movement. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's necessarily Smurfs, just shitty matchmaking, but either way, um, you should still be able to climb if you are playing well. Uh, so, yeah, we'll definitely take a look. You posted some of your stats. I see you have like 50-ish hours, so you're still relatively new to the game. Uh, you said you have a 59% win rate on BAP, which is um, pretty solid. You posted like your deaths, your healing, your damage. I'm not really too worried about that so much. I want to see... Uh, your decisions and what you do in the game. I think that's a little bit more important than raw stats. So yeah, we'll we'll take a look at it. We'll go right in. So we're looking right here. First thing we always want to do is we want to take a look at our team comp. Excuse me. So you have a Diva, uh, Cassidy, Hanzo, and then Bap, Mercy. So... Mercy should generally be pocketing the DPS, more so probably Cassidy, uh, just because he gets more value out of the damage boost. Uh, you should be working with these guys, making sure they're okay, also helping your D.Va out. It's a little tough with D.Va because she has more mobility than you, uh, but that's, not, that's still fine. You can still overcome that with uh, good positioning and uh, good aim with your, your grenades. So... Yeah, pretty solid team comp, and everybody here pretty much can get value out of your window, too. So, yeah, let's see what happens. Attackers incoming. So, yeah, that's, uh, I just want to, you want to be a little bit careful about doing that, uh, using your exo boots to, to jump up and scout like that, because they have a Widow. Uh, you don't know that. You didn't know that yet, but, um, yeah, you, you don't want to. And a Gold Widow probably won't snipe you out of the air like that, but you still just want to build that habit now just for the future. So yeah, we're getting some healing in. So Diva's pretty much full HP. Excuse me. Um, I want to see you. You're doing a little bit of damage. I like that. Um, yeah, Diva's full HP. She doesn't really need the healing. I want to see you go for a little bit more damage to start. Yeah, so that regen... I don't really think everybody, there wasn't really much of a need for it. Diva is pretty much full HP, so is your your Cassidy. Uh, you take a little bit of damage right after that, but that's fine. Um, regen, you can use it a little more generously than you could in Overwatch 1. Uh, back then, you had to be pretty selfish with it because it was BAP's only way to self-heal. But now you can be a little more generous. You can use it when you have a bunch of teammates around you that are all low and all need healing at the same time. But but yeah, just be a little bit more mindful because it has a, a significant cooldown, as you can see. Uh, so you'd want to try to save it for, for when you need it. So yeah, just be a little careful. Ooh, Cassidy gets sniped. Uh, be a little bit careful. I, I know you're kind of you're kind of behind the wall, which is good, but um, you don't want to to exo boots right where the widow can see you because that kind of lines up the shot for her. Uh, she's not looking at you. She just was looking at your cast and killed him, as I said. Uh, she can't see you from that angle, but you just want to be mindful. Pay attention to where she is because uh, try not to peek that. Maybe you know you can move a little bit back to to where. Sorry, move a little bit back to where she doesn't have the right angle on you. You can keep helping your, your diva pressure this Rhine. Or, yeah. Let's see. Okay, good. I like the damage. Yeah, diva's... Diva's good. Damage, damage. So, I wasn't a fan of that lamp, uh... Diva wasn't really. Diva was taking just a couple swings of the hammer from Ryan, but she wasn't really in any danger of dying. Let's see. Yeah, she's basically. Look at that. She's basically full HP. 
uh, you want to save that to you want to save immortality field to prevent deaths and i think you die right after that which is not good but um you, you take yeah you take two rockets right after that and you immediately die you could have saved that lamp and you know you try to ideally if you take that first rocket your 80 hp uh you could have used your regen burst and backed out or worst case if you think you're gonna if you think you're gonna take another another rocket to the face i don't think uh using lamp for yourself is a is a horrible option but yeah that's your your first step DPS Moira kills your mercy, dies yourself. That could have gone yeah, because you died there, your your whole team kind of falls apart. You lose the fight. Yeah, uh, don't really keep this. Wait for everyone else. You guys are. Last thing you want to do here is um, yeah, see. Hanzo's in danger of dying too. But last thing you guys want to do is uh, not all group up. And you're just going to trickle and die one by one. And you're never going to be all together and get a team fight. So, yeah, just be mindful of that. Uh, we got the res on D.Va. So, and Widow's coming back. So it looks like um, if we can keep Hanzo up here, we'll, we'll be fine to have a team fight. But, yeah, just be mindful of if you're, if you're down, uh, just back out and, and wait for your team to, to come back so you can have a full team fight. Okay. Some pressure. Alright, we got the Widow. We got two picks. We're doing good so far. More damage. I like you're going for the Mercy. Yeah, it's a little tough to hit. It's okay. Go for the Moira. Nice kill. Can we finish off the Mercy? Hanzo does. Good. Now let's just kill this run. Don't even worry about healing. Everyone's full HP. Oh. Nice jump. You want to be careful, like I said. Good regen. Yeah, a little, little messy, a little chaotic, but... Yeah, we avoided everything and we got it done. He's just going to go off... Yeah, I don't know if that was a smart decision for the no Diva Bomb, but that's okay. Uh, we got window here, though. Maybe we can... Maybe we can throw it right at this choke as they're, they're coming around to, to peak. And, um, yeah, we can stop them and... Early... Put it out early and, and win the fight. Take another rocket. You're very low. Good regen. Yeah, Hanzo's popping off. Watch out for him. Yeah, kill this Ryan. I wouldn't get in his face. You have... Yeah. Oof. But yeah, you have... Uh, you have distance and Ryan doesn't. Like, Ryan has to get up close to you to, to do damage to you unless he uses Fire Strike. Whereas you can shoot him from a distance. I get he has the shield. You want to get up in his face, but... Um, it's better if you just shoot him out from a distance. Uh, even worst case, like if he's just sit holding the shield, um, that just stalls the kill longer and staggers him further, uh, which is actually a good thing. So yeah, don't don't get in his swinging range. Don't give him the power to kill you. You had to you had to use a cooldown to to ensure that you won the duel. But but yeah. <laughs> Kill him. Good. Alright. Guys are doing good so far. Yeah, be careful with that. She's got a pocket. It might be a little tough to. You can support Diva here, but. Nice. Some shots on the Diva. I mean, eh. not a huge fan of that window. I would have liked to wait until they're they're coming out to engage more. It was just Diva who instantly ran, and then 
Genji and, and Kiriko's coming. I mean, I guess it's not, excuse me, I guess it's not a horrible decision because it kind of makes them wary, prevents them from, from coming out. But, um, but yeah, it might have been a little bit better to, to hold that until like more of them are, are coming out or, or unless you have, I mean, I guess you have Eevee here. Yeah, I, I guess it's not a not a horrible decision because it kind of ensures that you they don't push and you you continue to take space. Not bad. Just be careful of shooting into a Genji because he'll he might deflect and that's a lot of damage coming your way. Nice kill on the Diva. Here we go. Nice kill. Our work is not done. You dipped up sheep. Scanning. Hey, you guys are doing pretty good. Your widow got sniped. Mercy gets the res, so it doesn't really matter. Like right here, I mean. Once again, I don't want to harp on the window too much, but right here, as they're all, the team's all coming in to engage, this wouldn't have been a bad, bad place to window. But at the same time, like, Hanzo gets the kill fast. Uh, Mercy's going to come. I think this Mercy might try to res, and then that makes her an easy kill too. So I guess you guys are cleaning up. Okay, Mercy got sniped. Yeah, see, that's exactly what I was talking about before. Um, you don't want to, you don't want to jump right in front of a widow, especially she just landed a shot on you. Good job with the lamp; that was a smart decision. But um, yeah, just be careful of using exo boots right in front of a widow. Get the kill. Oh, that was dirty. She gets rezzed and, and D.Va just and makes her and she immediately dies before she can do anything like that. Get the kill. I like the damage so far. Yeah, you guys are doing pretty good. Not really, not really much to say overall. You guys are kind of just, um, you kind of just snowballing. And even with the, the couple picks that, uh, that they are getting on you, you guys generally are, are doing more. So it doesn't matter. So yeah, not much to say, but yeah, keep it up. Kill the Winston. Yeah, good job. I like your DPS. Doing a very good job of securing kills, which is good. Alright, yeah, that's a little... And once again, I'm not gonna... I don't wanna harp on this, but... You hear the Widow. You know the Widow's gonna be out there peeking. You don't wanna Exo Boots right in to engage, because... Not only, like, even if she lands a body shot, Kiriko's here too. The two of them could, could finish you off. So, yeah, just be a little careful of getting too aggro there. And it's, easy to, it's easy to not think about that in fights like this where your team is kind of rolling. But what if you die or something and then that puts your team at a disadvantage, you know? Even needs a little bit of healing here. The Mercy's got her. Okay. You were a little out of that range, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, that... I don't know about that window, just because the Ryan's pushing right into you, and then that kind of... I mean, Hanzo's getting some value out of that. Hanzo looks like he's going to kill him, but you, you just want to be careful of doing that right into a Ryan's face without teammates between you and him, you know. Yeah, I, once again, you guys are kind of rolling, though. So my tips are, the tips I feel like I'm giving you so far are kind of just, yeah, you guys cap, pretty one-sided. But yeah, I was saying the tips that I feel like I'm giving you so far are general tips for when games aren't so one-sided, but you guys are, are just kind of gapping them right now, so... Even though there's mistakes being made, it doesn't really matter. Hello. 
score. Zero to three. Switching sides. You can skip ahead a little bit. Alright, we're running the BAP again. Attackers incoming. So, just same thing. Look at our team comp. I mean, pretty much the same thing. I know we switched to Widow early. We're running Bastion now. Um, yeah, I mean, pretty much same thing. BAP, BAP goes really well with Bastion because um, you can pocket him. Um, works really well with Window, but with Bastion damage. So, yeah. You're waiting. You just want to be a little careful of just peeking out there. I know you were moving a little bit, but you don't want to get shot by Widow. Put some damage in. Yes, yeah, so you see the Widow right there. Uh, you, I would... Honestly, I don't even like as a... Um, as a support player, I don't even like to... To be in the line of sight of a Widow that is looking right this way. So I would just take a little angle right here. Just get just out of her sight, you know, and then keep doing damage on on these guys right here. That could never happen. Now you see me, now you don't. Yeah, be careful of spamming that. Yeah, and you were kind of... So you were kind of... And it wasn't just you, it was your, your teammates too. You guys weren't really paying attention. You guys were just kind of focused on what was happening in Choke. And Sojourn comes around and gets a kill on your Widow. Mercy reses. She gets a kill on Mercy now, too. So that's just a little bit. You can... If we back up a little bit. You're a little too focused on the choke here. Yeah, you see, you're very focused on the choke. We can hear the... We can hear the Sojourn gun going off, but, um, so yeah, we just want to pay attention to that audio there. Uh, she kind of gets the kill very fast because Sojourn's broken, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, we just want to, as soon as we hear that audio, we want to turn over to, to support. Getting yeah. The Getting the kill. If she gets out, that's okay. Yeah, you don't have your lamp there. A little tough. So what did you use your lamp for again? I want to see. So we still have it here. Okay, she gets the kill. Okay, yeah, we, we threw it. We threw it a little late there. Um, so once again, if you were just a little... I just be a little aware of uh, of this, this choke right... Or this area right here because people love coming up here. Uh, especially like if you're if you're going with like a brawl or a rush comp, like with a junker queen or or something like that, they love to just storm up here and and clear the clear the high ground over here. So, um, yeah, just be a little more careful. There isn't really a reason to to drop down right here, especially since you don't have. I know Bastion's down here, but you don't really have anyone else with you. Um, yeah, so stay up here. Uh, be aware of both areas and. Yeah, you can help prevent that. You might have been able to get the lamp out earlier and prevent that death. But that's okay. Let's see what happens. Yeah, let's see. I mean, yeah, you don't have lamp for Bastion, but I I don't necessarily think it was a bad decision to do it. Use it there, so yeah, not much you can do. Okay, we gotta get away. Um, I keep doing that. I need to stop doing that with uh, with getting the menu to pop up. But yeah, you can hop right up to this high ground right here. You're kind of just uh, jumping around right now. I would like to see you uh, just use Exo Boots once, get up to like right up this high ground right here, and then Ryan won't be able to swing at you. You can you know you can hide over here, get some shots in, look over where everyone else is, uh, get your get your healing, get your damage in, and you'll be safe from. Hammer man. Yeah, kinda lost. So yeah, I would jump right up right up to that high ground there. Instead of just you're still on the ground, you're kinda you're a little bit lost there, I feel like. And then you die to the Rhine Fire Strike because of that, so yeah. 
if we had got to that high ground up there, we could have, we probably could have stayed alive at least a little bit longer to, to keep D.Va up and, and try to, try to help others. Sniper, right. Hear this choke. I mean, not necessarily. Oops. Misplay by me. I mean, this area is not necessarily terrible to, to play at. It's just that your teammates, your diva's still up there. Your Cass is here, but it looks like he's going to go back. Um, it's just the fact that there really isn't any of your teammates between you and the enemies. Um, I just, just be mindful of where your team's playing. You want to try to play behind them so you can support them. Damage in. A little tough. You're pressuring the Rhine Shield, but yeah, that that lamp was completely unnecessary. Diva is is full HP. She's not in any danger of dying. So once again, just be mindful of lamp usage. You want to really, you don't want to throw it for your tank unless they're they're crit. So yeah, just be be mindful of that. Yeah, you're you're frontlining right now. There's nobody between you and the enemy team. So they've already capped here. There's really no point in fighting here anymore since they've capped the point. You want to kind of move your way back and, and um, yeah, try to fight at the, the chokes right here instead. And not only that, I mean, but you're, you're frontlining. You're in front of your tank. You're in front of your, your cast. You want to try to play behind them and support them. So I'm sure... I'm sure that happens in a lot of games where you find yourself there's nobody like if if there's nobody between you and the enemy team and your teammates are not dead you're you've done something wrong. So yeah, just just think about that in the future. Yeah, see you get you get shattered to the face cuz of it. That that death was very much preventable if you had played back a little bit more. Really I guess Mercy gets the gets the res. I just want to see that. Yeah. So Mercy gets the res. That's um, it's good that you're back here, but you also have to keep in mind Mercy had to use that that res cooldown because of your decision. Where she could have used it on, she could have saved it for for someone else in the future. I don't know if anyone's gonna die in the near future, but but you know what I mean. You're also you're also helping her out by not forcing her to to use res because you you overextended. I get this Ryan. He's one. Yes, I mean I understand that. Um, Mercy, you also see the Mercy beam. I mean he dies anyway, so I kind of understand. But um, you could have also Ryan was was pretty low there. You probably could have also landed some shots and helped Diva secure the kill. But that's fine. Let's see what goes on. Got the sojourn, nice kill, but you're, yeah, see, you're. It's nice that you're you're trying to focus on the sojourn, but you're doing that whole time. That, excuse me, the whole time you're doing that, you are right in the widow's line of sight. So, I'm just kind of curious. That's your widow. Sorry, I'm still, yeah. See, she's seeking you out. I just want to watch this for Mercy. Dead weights yeah, she's just dead. seeking you out. Um, like, you could have potentially done that if you had just stayed behind, um, behind the cart the whole time. But there's also the fact that, once again, you are, you're kind of frontlining. You want to, um, your teammate, your team is all back here. You don't want to be out front, especially when Cass dies. You want to go back, 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 back. I mean, I guess you'd still kind of be in the, the Widow's Vision. But, but yeah, you, you didn't want to be here even, like, even before you got, um even before you died the first time to the Rhine Shatter. You wanted to head all the way back here. So the fact that you died, you got rezzed, and you proceeded to stay here, that that kind of, that kind of hurt you. Uh, kind of hurt you in the long run. Yeah. You're getting the kill, but yeah, you're not... 
you're not thinking about the the widow, but that's okay. See what happens in the next Over fight. There. You'll have window for um for this next fight though, so see if we can make something happen. Amplification matrix ready. Kill, nice. But once again, once again, I mean, okay, Diva's here now. But you don't just want to stand out here where there's nobody between you and the enemy team. I mean, at least um, if you really want to try to get some damage in, play right here. You know, poke out, try to get the kill. Don't don't try to chase kills too much like that. Um, I mean, it's good. I love that you're. That you're popping off, but just try to try to be a little safe as well while you do it. Farm up this Ryan. Yeah, see, you're getting. I this you've done this again. You're you're getting right in his hammer range. Stay back. Stay back. You don't need to. You don't need to get right in his face where he has. Um, he has the ability to do 85 damage per swing at you. If you were playing right here, you know, they charge. You can rotate this way. Excuse me. You can rotate this way and you, you can farm him up here from a distance. And yeah, you'll still be able to kill him. You'll still do the same damage. Um, I think what you're trying to do is you're trying to get past the Rhine Shield. But um, but yeah, you guys can just focus on on breaking it and and farm him down that way. Yeah, let's see what happens here. I'm on the next level. Let's get you all better. Ten gold and kill. All right, you win this fight. It's good. Yeah, once again, same thing. I, I don't want to harp on this, but you, you don't want to play out here. Um, you don't want to play out here without any team behind you. I mean, without any team, without your team in front of you. Excuse me. Kind of, especially since what I was saying is Mercy should generally be working with your DPS. You should be working with your tank. You want to kind of just stay behind them. Um, kind of focus on uh, who they're focusing on. Yeah, see? You're in the way of the, you're in the way of the Widow. On the sojourn, so you kind of you kind of panic over there. I think you're trying to get away desperately, or you're trying to. I guess you're trying to set up your set up your figure out where to set up your window. You kind of turn your attention away from the diva, and she kind of just gets uh, she kind of gets fucked there. But, uh, let's see what happens. Yeah, you're you're backing. I'm not really sure what you were. I guess you were trying to look up to set up a window there, but um. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have turned around. I would have kept your eyes on your D.Va because you probably could have um, at least done enough healing to maybe help her stall or, or get away sooner. Or absolute worst case, if you um, if she's critical, uh, if you want to save her, you can pop window just to do healing because that not only does that amplify your damage by two times, but that amplifies your healing by two times as well. Yeah, back out. We wanna we wanna back out. They got a widow, they got a Rhine. You are frontlining again. We wanna get out of here ASAP. Yeah. yeah, I I don't like that window. Um, yeah, and you're not gonna get value out of that because you don't have a tank right now. Diva just died. Um and so you don't have a you don't have a front line and Ryan can just push right in, walk right past the window, and just shatter you guys for free, which is exactly what happened. Um, that's not even so much, I mean, that's not even your fault completely. I mean, your DPS should be backing up too. But um, but yeah, uh, just be careful of that with uh, your window. If you want to um, if you want to do it against a Ryan. Uh, you want to have a little bit more distance between you guys. You don't want him to be able to do it right in his face where he can, as I said, just walk right by and shatter you guys. You don't have any cooldowns. 
I mean, he still dies, which is good, but, but yeah, your Widow dies, and... Yeah, you guys gotta back out here, because you're at a disadvantage. Although Diva's here. Okay, she got a 2k. That's not bad. She got the bath. Yeah, I mean they're kind of just they're kind of just trickling and they're not really getting a team fight because, um, yeah, Diva died. Uh, they were pushing up. Ryan died. You guys cleaned up, and now Ryan's coming in to. This Ryan is just coming in to to feed and. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, this Ryan's just coming in to to feed and and die himself. So. Kind of weird, but you guys can capitalize on that. Farm him up. Get the kill. Nice. Alright, now you guys are... You guys got the Rhine. You guys are at an advantage because they don't have a tank. I would back out. Um, even if your Diva stays down here, Exo Boots back up to this high ground and just, just play from here so you can support them. Yeah, sure, this is exactly what I'm talking about. You exo boots back up. Play from here. Your diva's going too far now, and Mercy's going a little too far herself to, to pocket her. Yeah, that's a that's a mistake on your diva. I actually I really like that you, you didn't overextend yourself and follow her. Um, that's one big thing, especially in gold. You want to be mindful of when your teammates are not making the right decision, because the last thing you want to do is um is make is um, overextend yourself, follow them, and and die. Uh, you made the right decision. Your mercy kind of made a very risky play to to try to help her out, and it looks like Diva's gonna die now. Yeah, misplay by her, but I, I'm happy that you didn't follow her. Yeah, and because of because Diva did that, now they're kind of just getting kills and. Kind of snowballing from there. You guys want to back up. They're moving forward. You guys are down. You you want to move back. You don't want to. I see what you're doing. You're kind of just standing your ground and fighting. But it's just, yeah, it's just you and Mercy and Widow. It's yeah, it's three v four. You kind of want to get back. Wait for your. Play back, wait for your teammates, play around, you know, right over here. They have to pull, they have to push the payload all the way up to here to, to cap. So, yeah, like I said, play back, wait for your teammates to come. And um, instead of just standing your ground and shooting, shoot as you're, as you're backing out. Let them out. Eh. Yeah, see, your widow's dead. And it's, um, Yeah. You, you wanted to back out. I mean, if you did want a window, you probably could have just gone all the way back here and done it here. That way there's some distance. Um, you know, your cast would have been back. Your diva probably would have been back in time to, to get value out of that window as well. Um, wasn't just you, Widow, and um, Widow probably should have backed out there a little earlier too, but, but yeah. Right, right. Clear out. The payload has it's reached the checkpoint. Mercy needs healing. Uh, yeah, especially when she's close range like that. Um, we already already went over the regen, but probably wasn't necessary to to use regen just to heal Mercy. You probably could have just. Since she's close, that's an easy shot for you. And, um, yeah. Yeah, um, you don't need to throw D.Va. You don't need to throw your Immort for D.Va if you know she has ultimate. Just because she can use that to remec. That's not necessarily... Especially since Ryan has pushed past. That's not necessarily a bad D.Va bomb on her end. Because uh, it kind of prevents the team from from coming to help him out, 
uh, it cuts him, it isolates him from from them, which is good. So yeah, uh, just be mindful of if your diva has ultimate, if she's gonna ult, because you could have saved lamp for uh, for this death right here. Percy gets the res though. I mean, yeah, everyone's pretty much dead though. That was. Yeah, that was a bad res on her part. Not your not your fault. She shouldn't have gone for that when everyone else was was dying, but or she should have at least canceled it and tried to get away. But uh, but yeah, just try to try to back out wave for your team. Yeah, you don't want to be here. You do not want to be here. You want to back out. You are one v five right now. Back 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 all the way to where your bastion is. Try to get out. And yeah, you, you die again. Once again, that was Mercy's fault for, for rezzing you there. But um, but yeah, try to back out if you can. He All right, we got some Moira now. Yeah, you're, uh, I want to see, I just want to see that, because your, your Widow called out for healing. Yeah, she's one HP. I keep doing that, but, um, yeah, she's one HP. I just be a little bit more aware of that. She, she calls out the I need healing. You didn't really look at her. You're just kind of doing DPS Moira things, but, but yeah. Just, uh, just be a little. Try to be mindful of that. I don't know if you might have had to. You might have had to put yourself in, in kind of harm's way to, to help her out. You know, put yourself right in this area. But even so. Yeah, we're kind of just. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna go for a DPS and stuff there, you, you probably could have tried to, to touch, try to stall a little bit more, but but whatever. My condition is Score three to three. Not really, not the end of the world. You were probably you probably would have died really fast anyway. So oh well. Initiating match. Skip ahead. <laughs> All right, we're back on BAP. We got, yeah, so pretty much same comp. We're going to be doing ass and uh, cash. Cass and ash. Got a little tongue twisted there. But, uh, but yeah, uh, pretty much same as before. Eve is a little, little far out there. Same thing I was saying before. You, you know they got a Widow, or at least you hear the shot. You don't want to play right where she's looking at you. Okay, this is good. This is good. Angle away from her. I like this. Your team's not taking much damage. You can go for a. You can go for a little more damage yourself. Yeah, be careful with the. Yeah, Cass gets the Gats gets the widow, but once again, just be mindful if she's right there. She's already looked. She's already seeked you out and killed you before for doing that. Just. Be careful of that. Yeah, you're being a little... Uh, yeah, I wouldn't get in a, like a sojourn has... Between her, her primary fire and her railgun, she has enough, um, enough damage to burst you down fast. And you're trying to engage her with no cooldowns. Just uh, at the very least, if you're going to do a play like that, just try to have your, your immortality field with you. Otherwise, uh, where's your team right now? Yeah, otherwise you want to be backing out like right around here, right around like this area right here to try to, to help support these guys instead. Because now you're kind of you're kind of caught out. Let's see. Let's see what happens from here. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I do like how you're getting kills, but it does seem like you're you're trying to seek them out a little bit too much. Um, so, just in general, I want you to try to um, 
not chase kills, make sure, focus more on positioning in the right area. Think of that first, getting kill second. You don't want to put yourself in a bad position to try to chase a kill. These guys go up. Yeah, we're a little too close once again. Once again, um, I said this before in a previous VOD, where you're, you're kind of like playing in the middle of your team. You got to do these big turning movements to, to see everybody. If you have to do that, that means you are playing too close. So yeah, once again, playback. You can get vision of the enemy team with just, I mean, of your team to, to heal them and the enemy team as well. But just with little small turning movements here, that'll just make it a lot easier to, to keep everyone up and do your job. Because now you're kind of... You're kind of making it harder for yourself. You're a little overwhelmed. It's tough to keep track of everything that's going on here. This Ryan's in your face. You throw your lamp out of panic. So, yeah, playing back will will solve pretty much all the issues that I, I see you having here. Yeah, teammates are dying. Yeah, I mean, there, there's there's 50 seconds there. Um, you want to back out or you want to try to back out if you see you're down. Or if you don't think you can back out and you want to die, you just kind of want to run into them and die as quickly as possible so you guys can get a regroup. Uh, this window was not very good because... Like, Cassidy's here to, to use it. Maybe Widow can get, like, a shot from up there. But, um, yeah, your guys are right in the Reinhardt's face, and he's just gonna... He's just gonna hold his primary and, and swing you down. Now go get him. Yeah, the knight is young. I should have been. 30 seconds remaining. We just need to hold up a little longer. Heroes never die. We can't miss. Okay. Yeah, not not a terrible lamp. I mean, I do don't I don't like how you're playing a little. You're a little close once again. Yeah, see, you die to the, the junk tire. I mean, the junk the junk mine because of that. Just, you know, play back here. You don't want to play out in the open. You want some kind of cover. This area isn't bad. Up here isn't bad either. You know, somewhere where if you're getting focused, if you're taking a lot of damage, you can quickly duck behind, use regen for for quick recovery, or at the very least get your get your support passive. Uh, so yeah, just playing too close in general is seems to be causing you to die a lot. It's a cold day in hell. Yeah, I mean your your team is able to um to hold anyway, but yeah, probably could have been a little bit easier if you uh, played back stayed alive there. Three. But still, good job for you guys. Let's see what happens uh, next round. Ready. All right, so it looks like we're on Moira here. Pretty much same comp. We went back to the Hanzo, and yeah, we're running Moira instead. Uh, I mean, BAP is probably. I, I don't know. I probably would have kept the BAP, but at the same time, you're you're a little you're a little aggro. You're playing a little close. Maybe Moira is a little bit better for you with this play style, but yeah, let's see how it works out. Five, four, three, two, one. Even Moira though, I mean, we haven't seen your, we haven't seen much of your Moira yet, but even Moira, she has a, a certain distance that she can do her healing and damage from. You don't want to be getting right up in an enemy's face either, but, but yeah, like I said, let's see what happens. Okay, yeah, you're a little, little aggressive there. Um, I wouldn't have wasted Fade. I mean, it was kind of cool little Fade jump you did over, Fade jump into Orb. It looks cool, but um, reality, you kind of just wasted the cooldown. 
you never know. Um, I mean, I haven't really seen it on this map, but what if he was holding even closer and you faded right into the Rhine who can just swing you down and kill you? You never know. Uh, wild things can happen in gold, so... Yeah, just, just be a little mindful of that. You don't want to use... Fade is an escape ability for Moira. You don't just want to... You don't just want to use it uh, and wastefully. Alright, healing Moira. Healing Diva. We can go for some damage here. Uh, I don't know if that healing orb was really... I see you're going on the flank. Interesting, but... uh. Yeah, see, she's full HP. Uh, I, I I get you're taking a fire strike to the face, so I under kind of understand the healing orb, but um, you could also just go for a little damage here, maybe. Go for some right click. Ryan puts his shield out or something, and, um, and you know, you can just burst that, or tickle that down. But yeah, you throw the healing orb, and then you go away. Um, I mean, if you're going to go on this flank, well, I'm very interested in seeing... Uh, how you handle this, but if you're going to go on this flank, I wouldn't even bother using the healing orb first. Because uh, you'll just, it's going to take you a couple seconds or so to, to go up here. The support passive will heal you. Like maybe you go after this Kiriko or something and you're using your, uh, using your grasp will, will heal you as well as you damage them. So, but yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, you go all the way up here. Interesting, you get the kill. You kind of you kind of do to them what the sojourn did to you on first defense, which is interesting. Going for the bat. Okay. Uh Yeah, once again, it's uh this is just seems to be I mean, you guys get the kill, which is good, but you you just want to be careful of just diving people and cuz this the Kiriko's there too. I mean, they they seem like a little overwhelmed and not completely aware but um especially as moira you want to be careful of chasing and going into to multiple enemies like that but but yeah like i said your guys are cleaning up you guys are getting the kills so didn't really matter at the end of the day just something to think about in the future you can get the yeah you wouldn't even need to use damage orb there uh she was pretty low right before that i think Yeah, she's uh, she heals a little bit, but uh, you could have just easily used uh, just use your right click to, to finish her off without wasting your orb. More Sojourn, yeah. Just be careful. I mean, she kind of she kind of panicked and went away, but just be careful of standing still in front of a sojourn because she can't one shot you anymore with her. Her nerfs, I don't know if they were really that much of nerfs, but that's, anyway, getting off track. Um, just be careful of standing in front of a Sojourn because she has high damage output. She has already burst you down before in this game. So just think about that in the future facing Sojourn. I get it. You're kind of trying to decide whether or not to go after D.Va. You throw a healing orb, which, eh. Yeah, she kind of, I, I think D.Va probably should have backed out there a little bit more. Uh, she shouldn't have committed to that, but um, yeah, not necessarily, not necessarily your fault in my opinion. Try to heal our Mercy. Yeah, see, they're, they're kind of dying here. I wouldn't have played, I mean, you, you kind of faded into that, didn't you? I'm going to go back a little bit. You fade over here. Um, see how you're kind of you're kind of isolated. You're off on your own. You're isolated from the rest of your team. Instead of fading this way, I would have faded back here to where the rest of the team is, because then you could have um, done some healing that might have been able to, to prevent the deaths here. Yeah. See how you might have been able to, at the very least, you might have been able to heal your mercy, and then she can keep everybody else up, but I don't know, you guys, I don't know, it's kind of tough. Yeah, we're chasing this kill, yeah, you're you're by yourself, you still have a minute 40 left, it's not like this is, you know, five seconds left, you you have to desperately do something to stall. Um, 
if you're if the your team whole team dies, you either want to get out if you can. If you can't get out, you want to try to die as quickly as possible so you can uh, regroup with everybody and have another team fight. But you're kind of doing a little flank DPS thing. You're kind of really focused on getting uh, finishing off this carry coat, which maybe you do, but um, it's going to stall your death. You're going to die in the process and it's going to stagger you to make it take longer for you to, to join your team for the next fight. But yeah, Diva, Diva just died too, though. So you guys are gonna, you guys are gonna respawn together, and yeah, hopefully your team waits for you, and you guys all go in as five. Group up here. Join me. Another day. Back to battle. back to bap. I don't hate it. We must push Probably a, a better decision, to be honest. But your cast dies. Yeah, see, I mean, this isn't like new again. this isn't necessarily your fault, but they're already going in and starting to fight without you. Um, more so a mistake on your on on their part. They should be waiting for their biggest source of healing before taking a fight. But um, but yeah, if you had died sooner there, maybe you could have um, maybe you could have been back sooner because you, you can't really control what they do if they go out there. You know, you could maybe say in voice or something, you don't have your BAP, wait for me, or, or something like that. But um, other than that, if yeah, if you had died earlier in that fight, you could have been back here sooner to, to help them out. It's kind of a... I keep doing that. I keep hitting the B instead of the N. But um, yeah, it's kind of a, a panic lamp right there. Yeah, I mean, Mercy had finished the res. Uh, there was a wall between you and D.Va. I, I can understand throwing out the lamp to to protect Mercy as she's rezzing, but she had already pulled off the res before you even threw it. So yeah, uh, I kind of a wasted lamp. I would have just held on to that. Or at the very least, try to get it on the other side of the wall so it could have prevented D.Va's death. And clear cast is low too. Let's see what happens. But yeah, you guys are... Once again, you're just too close. Not only are you too close, but you're like just right in the middle of the fight. You are between the enemy Rhine and the enemy Sojourn and Kiriko. So if these guys turn and look at you, like that should be a fairly easy kill. You want to, if you're going to come out, because you guys, you want to rotate this way. Here, or actually even better, would just be going all the way over here. Just so you can get your distance. Bap, Bap has his damage from, from a distance. He's not a close range like Ryan with the hammer. And you can just get better vision and help your team from there. Yeah, and you, you die to the, the junk tire. So your team's kind of struggling there. But I feel like it has a lot to do with your positioning. Um, you're just, like I said, you're playing too close. You want to play behind your team. You're, you're just making it a lot harder for yourself than you need to. Uh, so you're not able to do your job properly. And that's just making it harder for you to keep your team up and therefore making it harder for them to do their job properly. Come on, Cole. Try a little harder. <laughs> Just going in a little aggressive. Kind of understand the limp there. That's fine. That was mostly a, a misplay on her part by just going in too early before she had the rest of the team to, to follow up and capitalize. But yeah. And yeah, if Ryan gets the, the kill on them, and you're. Yeah, you're right out in the middle. When you see people die, you should not be continuing to push forward and continuing to to go into the enemy team like that. I would just just back right back out from where you came. But um, yeah, it's it's tough. I, I get it. And in gold, it seems like your teammates are, are doing the same thing, kind of trickling too. So, but just try to try to avoid doing it yourself if you can. 
And yeah, you're just kind of way too aggro. You're just kind of chasing a kill. Yeah, once again, 16 seconds. You guys have enough time to regroup and get another team fight. But because you're you're jumping around trying to get these kills, you're probably going to get staggered too. And and yeah, it's just it's just a lot of staggering. Not even like I said, not even completely your fault. Your teammates are doing it too. But um, it's just one of the things that that happens a lot in lower ranks where people don't really um, people don't really realize they have to to group up and wait for each other to to go fight as one. <laughs> But you can you can obviously help by by not contributing to that yourself. Play behind Diva. See, you're in front. You want to play back. I mean, Moira's back here too. But yeah, another thing. You're just playing too close in general. And you die. Yeah, and that's the game. So, yeah, I mean, I, I do like how you are aggressive in going for damage. But I, I do think that you're just a little bit too aggressive at times. Like you're you're going in, uh, you're tunnel visioning people, you're you're putting yourself in bad positions to to try to seek for kills. Uh, number one thing I want you to think about is your positioning. Think about, am I playing too close? Um, do I have my team with me? Can I see my team to... Um, can I see my team to support them while I'm looking for kills? So that's what I want you to think about. And um, yeah, think about, are you playing in a safe position? Once you are in a safe position, then you start looking from the kills from there. And trust me, you won't have you won't even feel the need to chase them as much because you'll be supporting your team they'll be able to do their job that'll make the kills easier for everybody so yeah uh i just think like i said i think positioning and um and cut toning down the aggression a little bit is the name of the game here but yeah uh, let me know if you have any questions and i wish you best of luck in the future